Three, two, one. How y'all doing out there today? Jamestown, California 7, the State of the Union show going on right now. Here's a picture of Dr. King, Martin Luther King Jr. And right now we're going to do a quick um, reference to Dr. King and give him the recognition that he deserves for all the good things that he did um, during his lifetime, also known as MLK, who on January 15, 1929, April, till April 4th, 1968 was one of the main leaders of the American Civil Rights Movement. King was a Baptist minister, one of the few leadership roles available to black men at the time. He became a civil rights activist early in his career. He led the Montgomery bus boycott in 1955-1956 and helped found the Southern Christian Leadership Conference in 57, serving as its first president. His efforts led to a 1963 march on Washington where King delivered his I Have a Dream speech here he raised public conscience of the civil rights movement and established himself as one of the greatest orators in United States history. In 1964, King became the great youngest person to receive the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts to end segregation and racial discrimination through civil disobedience and other nonviolent means. King was assassinated April 4, 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee. He was posthumously awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Jimmy Carter in 1977. Martin Luther King Day was established as a national holiday in the United States in 1986. In 2004, King was posthumously awarded the Congressional Gold Medal. So real quick, birthplace, Atlanta, Georgia. Very important to recognize Dr. King, um, to talk about segregation, very important because we still kind of live in segregated societies, although civil rights do exist, number one. And um, I don't understand, good job President Jimmy Carter, 1977 with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, but to have a national holiday all the way to 1986, that's the year the Challenger went down. And um, that's a long time, that's almost 20 years. So very important that, that Dr. King Day is always a national holiday and important that we learn from that because Dr. King stood up for civil rights black Americans going down to Vietnam and they didn't have civil rights also serving other wars also when they came home all kinds of racial injustice and it's just not it's just not right and for people to grow up in a democracy it shows in the past we never were a democracy we were always the US senior or USSR our flag just on top of their flag now you're all seeing it economically how it's really concurred in a very despicable fashion and the fact is it is very important that that kind of shit does not occur again because the next time leaders